Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever seen a car so weird that it makes you question whether it's a vehicle or a misplaced airship? Well, buckle up because today we're diving into one of the strangest automotive experiments in history, the Schlurwagen. A car so ahead of its time, it zoomed straight into obscurity faster than my uncle running from a bar tab. Before we get into the details, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It costs you nothing, but it keeps us fueled for more bizarre and wonderful transportation stories. Now let's talk about this egg on wheels. Back in 1939, a German engineer named Karl Schlur decided that regular cars weren't aerodynamic enough. So he built a vehicle that looked like a giant pill bug on a mission. Officially called the Schlurwagen, but nicknamed the Göttingen Egg, this oddball creation had a drag coefficient of just 0.113. That's lower than most modern supercars today. To put that into perspective, a brick wall is about as aerodynamic as a traditional 1930s car, and the Schlurwagen was the complete opposite, practically slipping through the air like my dignity on a Monday morning. The vehicle was based on a modified Mercedes-Benz 170H chassis. Now, the 170H was already a rare rear-engine design, but Schlur took it a step further. He had the aluminum body built by the Ludwig brothers of Essen, who crafted a teardrop shape prop that looked futuristic, yet somehow completely absurd. It was 4.33 meters, 14.2 feet long, 2.1 meters, 6.9 feet wide, and 1.48 meters, 4.9 feet high. The reason for its extra width? The wheels were tucked inside the body, presumably to prevent them from ruining the car's perfect egg-like shape. But let's talk performance. When tested against a standard Mercedes 170H, the Schlurwagen managed a top speed of 135 kilometers per hour, 84 miles per hour, a whole 20 kilometers per hour, 12 miles per hour faster than the reference vehicle. It also had a fuel consumption of just 8 liters per 100 kilometers, 29 miles per gallon, which was 20 to 40 percent more efficient than its contemporary cars. Karl Schlur even claimed that the car could theoretically hit 146 kilometers per hour, 91 miles per hour. However, despite all these impressive stats, the Schlurwagen had its flaws. Due to its ultra-smooth shape and rear-engine layout, it had an unfortunate tendency to be bullied by crosswinds. Imagine driving on the autobahn and suddenly getting yeeted sideways because a breeze decided to show up. Not exactly the safest ride, unless your idea of fun is playing Guess Which Lane I'm In Now. The car made its grand debut at the 1939 Berlin Auto Show, where people took one look and said, Nine! The public found it too ugly, and World War II soon put an end to any hopes of production. The only prototype sat around for a while, and in 1942, some brilliant minds decided, you know what this needs? A Soviet aircraft engine! So they slapped a 130 horsepower, 97 kilowatts radial aircraft engine onto it, because why not? Unsurprisingly, this didn't fix any of its stability issues. But hey, if you can't make it pretty, at least make it terrifying. By 1948, the prototype was stored at the German Aerospace Center in Göttingen, but Schlur failed to retrieve it from the British military administration. After that, the car disappeared. Maybe it was scrapped. Maybe it was abducted by aliens who thought it was one of their own. We may never know. Fast forward to 2007, and the German Aerospace Center tested a scale model in a wind tunnel, confirming that this bizarre egg-shaped creation was genuinely one of the most aerodynamic cars ever built. And now a non-profit organization called Mobile Welton is working on building two replicas using original Mercedes engines and Maybach transmissions. Maybe one day... We'll see the Schlurwagen back on the road, confusing pedestrians and frightening traditional car enthusiasts everywhere. So what do you think? Was the Schlurwagen a forgotten masterpiece or just an overgrown boiled egg on wheels? Let us know in the comments. Plus, if you want to support our channel and keep these stories coming, you can become a sponsor. Just check out the link below. Thanks for watching.